Now for our day on Sunday, here's a look at the forecast high temperatures climbing into the middle and upper 90s. Yet again, the heat index between about 105 and 110 across the area. But we could see the heat index climb as high as 115 for areas in deep east Texas. So make sure that you are staying hydrated out there and limiting that outdoor activity, especially during the heat of the day. It's not as humid as it was earlier this week, but it's still going to be hot and humid for our day on Sunday. So take those necessary heat precautions. Now the normal high temperature is 92 degrees right now. We are going to be well above that for the foreseeable future here. We'll see those high temperatures into the lower 100s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and on Saturday as well. So the heat only looks to increase from here and we could easily see those heat index values climb up to about 115 each afternoon, especially towards the end of this work week. So again, make sure to take those necessary heat precautions out there. Uh, limit your outdoor activity during the heat of the day. Stay hydrated. Check on your neighbors, especially the elderly and young children. Those two groups most susceptible to heat related illnesses. Looking farther ahead with the six to 10 day temperature outlook valid from June 30th. Uh, so this is coming Friday through the 4th of July. We are going to see a good chance of above average temperatures. It shouldn't be as hot though as we get closer to Independence Day as where we are going to be earlier uh, this coming week. But still uh, the heat is on for us as we head into the foreseeable future. Here's a breakdown of the seven day forecast. We will see a chance of a few showers and thunderstorms perhaps clipping our I 30 counties in the overnight hours Sunday into Monday. Other than that, though, we are dry through the work week. We will see mostly sunny skies through the day on Thursday. Clouds will increase a bit as we head into Friday and Saturday. We'll call it partly cloudy overall. The chance of a thunderstorm will be with us Saturday night into early Sunday, so keep that in mind as well. But overall, it's a dry seven day forecast for us. That means we could start to be seeing concerns about fire weather, especially towards the end of the week as we continue to see the heat and the winds pretty strong out of the south to southwest at around 15 miles per hour. So that is something we'll be looking for. For deep east Texas, it's more of the same. We should be dry Sunday night though into early Monday, and then we'll be dry through the rest of this work week, climbing up to 100 in deep east Texas as early as Tuesday, up to 102 on Thursday. That will be the hottest day of the next seven, and then we will keep those highs in the lower 100s through Friday and Saturday.